No, you gotta be joking. I did not record this. This is my seventh Dragon Matic. Boom, right there. Crazy. I can't believe this. Uh, I got a quick chat now. The Big Game Hunter. Let's see how many successful tracked. 302 games. Seven Dragon Matics. Only one was doubled. So technically, it's like six rolls on it, but seven in total in my bank currently the drop rate of these by the way are one in 100 or one in 90 when there's a roar of off -seas happening so i got quite lucky you could say on these <laughs> i was supposed to get only three according to the drop rate look at that six plus one augmented oh man you know they are like uh dude they're crashing so much what's happening they were 18.5 million you know it's been a very long time since i've been at revenants and i had 43k c already on this account because i did some worldly slayer like a month ago but then i stopped because people kept killing me i guess because i was streaming at a time and it's like a bad idea to do so i decided to give it another go just take like junk items take like three items still go and stream though so that's why you're gonna see a bunch of people and sometimes they do things sometimes they don't sometimes they just friendly and yeah so let's see how how it evidence went uh, eventually i actually do want to make like a 10 hour loot video because there is an item called well statues warhammer but that's way later uh, by the way there is in total also 14 revenant pets for each revenant they do exist and you start from the very beginning from the imp if you get something and then you work all your way up to a dragon so you cannot get dragon immediately as far as i know you have to work your way up. In total, I've done 1,200 kills, which actually was very fast. And I was using legacy mode because the way revenants work is that every time you hit them, they eat. So if you're using abilities, there's going to be a bunch of hits. You know, if you do the bleeds or something, they're just going to eat up to full. So legacy mode works perfectly. Slow, hard-hitting weapons is the best at revenants. <laughs> With a four? Oh, what is that? Revenant Spirit, what is that? Revenant Spirit, oh no. What is that? Unlock pet? Wait, is that a pet? Holy. Uh, how do you use Legacy Mode? Uh, uh, uh. No. 20? Stop it. Okay, Yak Scroll. Uh, bank is full. <coughs> oh, I can just unlock it, I think. Okay. Whew. Okay. Yeah. The oh. Morgan's throwing axe. First drop. Oh, it's not even corrupted that could be expensive maybe 5k each if you get 100 of those you can patch them to make tier 88 main hand wait really well i'm getting out then what is that defeat one of each creature in what i still haven't up to this point i have like over 100 kills probably still haven't done it oh what is that 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 blood weight seed please not like this oh you see i don't Oh, what is that? What is that? Armadale statuette? Oh my god, there we go. I think it's, uh, let me remember, 750k. Okay, 450k. Or maybe that's high alk, and it's actually 750k. Wait, I can send it to the bank as long as it's not full? Cast winter storage? Okay, it's not full. Excellent. Wow. Now, that's a throwback. You saw how it looked like with the wings and stuff? That is some throwback to the good old days. Back to my first videos that I uploaded of Revenants. Oh, we got the Fremenic patch once again. These are actually good because I still don't have Armadil and I still use the superior spine so I can just summon a pack yak again, cast the winter storage and it gets banged once again. Very nice thing to have in here. That is above level 30 that area but here is below so I can bang but in the other area I would not be able to do it. The Armadil statuette that I got, yeah? Armadil, you can sell to one of the people. Dude, this is so nostalgic like this icon right here. I need to like screenshot this, put it on the thumbnail. Would you be willing to... Yeah, sure, I can do it. And how much? 750k? 750k? I remembered it correctly. The high alk was 420k. Wait. Yeah, there is, there is. Oh. I got it. Revenant Spirit. That's a pet drop. Unlock Revenant. That's another pet. Second pet has been obtained. A goblin. It's a goblin. Sorry, the man carving. But it's a pretty bad one. 75k, I think. Oh. What is that? Corrupt statues, full helm. There we go. It's not even shining. Let's go, baby. How are they so cheap in the Grand Exchange? What's going on? Well, that's what I wanted to see. Slayer or questing? Hmm. Slayer. Oh, what is that? Seren statuette. Yo, that's one mil drop. Right there, I still remember. 
Yeah, it's six hundred k, so it has to be one mil then. Another onyx has been spared as life. And my bank is full. Oh my god, that's another drop. Corrupt Dragon Longsword. So I decided to go a little bit closer to 95 prayer. So I'm just AFKing in here with my penance aura. The prayer just never drains because the more you get damaged, the more prayer you get back. And I randomly get 99 strength. Yep, just like that. So, I, I mean, I had it on shared. So constantly it was still giving me attack. As you can see, it gained like 1 mil above. I could have gotten away earlier. Same with defense. But it's okay because I, I saw it's coming. At some point, so it's, it's like it doesn't even matter. So I'm 99 now. Woo! The only one that's left is range, which maybe I should be using range because you can uh, switch to range in here. But now I have armor, and I don't want, like this is such a comfy spot at the moment. And ideally, I don't want to do anything. Wait, I'm going to pick up the seeds again. Loot. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. There we go. So I just leave. I, I leave these split bar bodies nowadays. I don't uh, alk or anything. That's a lot of cash. Wait, what is the prayer XP an hour currently? 177k an hour with a total of 93k gained. So I've been in here for half an hour, but actually I've been in here for like close to two hours, but only recently started attacking. Well, yeah, there we go. Still 137 combat because of summoning and prayer. So probably need like five, six more levels or so just to get a combat level to maximum. Anyway. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I mean, look at this. I know I showed this before, like, the loot, what you get from wires, but this is just insane, like, 70 total axes. There's 34 iron. There's, uh, finally, some cannon These are the only things that are missing from overloads. I mean, I have plenty of them now, like, over 100 herobs, but there's all, it's just 100 overloads. Ah, the red spider X2. Oh, I can actually use this on this and just uh, remaining charge is 1300 almost. By the way, I was using a dino armor because the wires are attacking with magic and this is good against magic, but it's obviously it takes off your accuracy, but it doesn't matter because you never splash anyway. So this was actually a good idea. Plus, I can always destroy them once I fully get to level 10. I can just destroy. I don't need to like siphon these. How quickly does this go? This is probably like an hour and a half to go until next level, if I would have all the meats, that is. But there we go, 93 hunter. Well, there we go, that's half inventory. This gives literally so much XP. That's a lot of XP though, it's probably 1.5 mil now in total left. Well, I actually can set a, a level target to go to 95 and it's gonna show as, yep, 1.6 almost, actually. Ooh, that's a long way to go. Oh. Armandel totem dude from an imp as I log in. This guy's just like chilling here. Whoa, that's uh, another unique. <laughs> uh, also gonna use a yak scroll. And I have to hop worlds now. What is that shining? Adrenaline crystal. How many? Nine? And many, 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 many more. Oh, Zuriel's throw bottom. There we go. Is that from an imp again? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, that's not what I need. I need a couple weapons, but you know what, that's, uh, well, maybe it's expensive, I don't know, let's examine this one. Six mil, dude! Oh man, what's my bank value now? It's over 1.8 billion, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's, uh, from an imp. <laughs> let's see the collection log right now. Scroll down, wilderness, yeah, a bunch of these, Zuriels. So, a lot of missing. Like someone said, there's no statuettes, so only armor and weapons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, corrupt. I knew it's going to be corrupt because it didn't shine. Corrupt throwing axes. Oh, it's King Jens. Ah, good one. Oh, bro. No, I fell for it, dude. I fell for this. I legitimately fell for it. Ah, like I could, I could feel it in my heart a little bit too. Boy. Yeah, it's a, it's a new voice. I, I cannot... Yeah, okay, dude. Twice I fell for it. Okay, time to sell all of these artifacts that I have. It should be uh, 1.5 mil or no, uh, 1.3 mil or something like that. Yes, sure, I can. And uh, 1.3 almost, you see? 1.265, boom, 10 million. Now, from this point, I decided to do some God Wars 1. Again, there was no reason to do it, kind of like Remnants. I just wanted to try out how easy it is to do it now since I got a Scythe now and I got, like, uh, higher defense overloads and so on. It's been a while since I've been to God Wars 1, except Kriara. I go there quite often because of the Slayer task. But what about Grador? 
I'm still missing like uh, four items from the collection log. Would be nice to collect it eventually. And plus, I don't have tassies, I don't have gloves, boots, or helmets. So I'm still using dragon gauntlets. If I could upgrade those, would be an upgrade. Whoa, 9k damage. That was one second slower though than before. <laughs> As I compare to Zami, this is so quick to do. Like, you don't even need Berserk or anything like that. So let's see what kind of drops we can get. Oh, new personal. Best 15 again. That was probably by one game tick, this one. Okay, siphon this. XP. Thank you very much. Oh! Achievement. How is it achievement for 102 uh, invention specifically? Well, I can boost to 119 now if I want to. So wait, let's go to skill normally now. Is there anything in 119? No. Nope. Look at this beast. Overloading. Augmented 102 invention Trying to upgrade his gear a little bit try to get Bando's gauntlets now imagine having a permanent gold pickup here You know that item from the engineering all these coins automatically also in the tool belt man There's so much to aim in this game. It is insane. I already have the you know bone crush and charming imp in my tool belt So I don't have to carry them anymore, but there's just so many more. What's this? It's 900. Oh, I heard the shine, but I don't see what it is. Oh, it's probably a cool scroll. I don't see anything big, but could be gloves maybe. Let's zoom in. I love how that you cannot see the chat right now. What is that? Is that a hilt? There's a hilt? Yeah, there's a bandos hilt. There we go. Oh, you probably could see update. I didn't see. I didn't see. But there we go. Actually, <laughs> yo, this thing is lovely. I need to keep this on the chat so it doesn't spoil anything. Yeah, Bandos Hill drop. Three. Look. Normal one. Broadcast to my friends. But yeah, later this boss apparently just becomes AFK. I literally went away. Like, literally. Fully AFK for three kills. I come back with 8,000 HP and full prayer. Because you know what the restores from like necklace and so on. So later on this boss becomes like just nothing. You don't need anything. What? What? That, that, that kind of scared me. I was like, how did I still get the attack level? <laughs> it's a virtual level. 100 attack. Oh. And here we go. Tassies. That's a new one. See? Boop. New one. Popped out. 14 out of 18. I'm glad I stayed. Well, <laughs> I'd say, you know... <laughs> It's about time we go to General Grador. It's 818 kills plus 11 hard mode. Uh, thank you very much. Yoink those stasis. And a defense going to level 102? What? Teleport out. Okay, so a couple drops. Hilt, Tassies. One goes of shot effigy in the same trip, by the way. First trip was nothing. Oh my god, it's Sarah's Murmur. Pick it up. Whew. Did it. The very first drop. Alright, let's uh, try to get some Sarah drops. Wait, that, that that's a PB. Come on, come on, kill it. Okay, that is new PB. 23 seconds. Which also means... Ooh, something shined. I heard the sound. Oh, okay, I, I could see it now. Damn it, I wish I didn't have this loot. Okay, Sarah Hill, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yes! That's literally the item that I wanted to get. Because <laughs> you can make it into a very good God Sword. And I got all the God Sword shards now, so... And that's probably the rarest item to get. <laughs> let's go, baby. And the book is still here. Let's pick the book up. Oh, find all five God Wars journals. Oh, that probably includes next. Wait, how much is Sarah held? 8 million. Ooh, that bank value going up 1.826 now. Oh, God. Not because of the bag. Oh, offhand armadillo crossbow. Dude, wait, what? My collection log is gone. What's going on? Commander Ziliana. There we go. Offhand Armadillo Crossbow. Another item to the collection log. Come here, baby. Eat that. Yes. Oh, and there's I did, there's a Star of Ancient Effigy. How many do I have? Wait, maybe I can open? Cooking. Let's go. There we go. What's the next one? Oh, farming or fish? Uh, yeah, there we go. What's the next one? Thieving or construction? No. Okay. I'll leave it as it is then. Oh, 75 Ziliana completed. 100 kills of Ziliana. Zubana's got sword. I'm just gonna probably... I'm not gonna use them anywhere, so probably just gonna augment them and destroy them eventually. And, and, and that's it. So they all four components, basically. Oh, there's another one. Let's make that one. Well, there we go. A bunch of god swords. How much is Bandos? One mil... <laughs> what about Zami? 1.9? Uh, Sarah, still expensive, huh? Eight... Okay, okay. 
Well, that was a bunch of drops today. I love that I don't need to get any kill count at all. So just use it on this and boom, that modified. Yep, yeah, there we go. Passive. Yeah. Ah, good, 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 good. Okay, I may try it somewhere. I don't know. I actually plan to go back to God Wars 1 because it is extremely fun because it's like AFK. So if you want to do more intense activities, you can do something like Araxi or you could go to Nex or whatever else like Telos. But sometimes it's very nice to relax in AFK at God Wars 1 because I still have that, uh, you know, dopamine rush for like a bando stasis. And, you know, people in my chat said, why are you at God Wars 1? You know, it's a useless armor. It's very low level armor. Well, you can still destroy it, first of all, for invention to get those four times components if you level up armor. So it's still not completely useless. And I generally enjoy doing it. So eventually I would want to fill the collection log like I did with Krill Tsutsarot. Now, eventually I got a Raxi task as my Reaper task, which was, I had four to kill. And what I noticed is that my DPS was going insane. Like if you look at this phase, I probably, this was the fastest that I ever killed any phase at any given time. I just couldn't believe how insane my DPS was. Like it probably took me like 20 seconds if it did not spawn the spiders eventually, because it could be a mirror back, which like pretty much is automatic KO if you just keep dealing damage. I just couldn't believe it. It was, I got almost personal best, not on a darkness path. It was on a minion path, or I guess acid, but in combination with minion. Now, not only that, there was another instance where I went in without the Berserk Aura, because I activated the other one, which was, um, I forgot, Majorat Aura. Yes, it gives 5% extra damage bonus. I dealt the first boss, like the first phase, to 0 HP in like 50% web burn, which is half a minute. I, I just don't know what's happening. It's probably a newly found overloads, there's also malevolent armor, there's like augments, there's like extra damage, like crackling and so on, but I just couldn't believe it. Like I actually felt like, uh, I actually felt like I was one of those elite players, you know, who deal a lot of damage, but I'm still, you know, rocking those dragon gloves and, and so on. So I kind of hate getting to this point where I cannot use the noob card anymore as much, but I still can do it. But because of my gear, it's like I'm kind of expected now to like deal proper damage and actually compete with other high level players, I guess. But there's plenty and plenty of stuff to obtain still. Uh, it's not over yet, obviously. Boots, gloves and and so on and so on. Well, I'm probably going to make more in-depth video on Araxi. Uh, which I didn't think I will, but it seems that Anax is just a walk in a park, even when minions are active, which is something that I hate, but I still did it, and it wasn't that bad, actually. I was, like, skipping minions completely. I was, like, ignoring them. Just kill the middle back, ignore the rest, just kill them. Uh, get, well, I'm, I'm gonna make a proper video eventually. But, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I am getting very close to 95 prayer. As you can see now, 300k XP to go. So, that means two hours until next level. I'm planning to do maybe a quest, which will give me 450k XP, which is blood runs deep. It's for Balmung. It's for Dagonauts, if you remember that one. Uh, I don't know if it's any good in this game, but I'm just here for player experience. So probably in my next video, I could be using Turmoil. So yeah, still camping virus, as you can see. 24 minutes left until my penance aura expires, and probably I'm going to end it there. And tomorrow I'm going to do two more hours with penance aura, because this is completely AFK. So split gives back all the HP. I actually ran out of overloads recently, so that may be a problem because of my defense. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, oh, Dino Armor, I think, yep, I overleveled it by a little bit, oops, well guys, thank you very much, uh, is that gonna be invention level? No, it's not, well, I'll see you guys very soon, thank you very much for watching this video, and bye-bye!